Just, just. Yeah, it done, yeah, it done. It's on her. Alright. Once again, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, man, Sham Yahushai. Right, double honors to the elders, the apostles of Great Millstone. I surely do well. Right, salutation to the action that push this without sincerity and truth. Right, this is GMS Trinidad, right? Come in the spirit of the most high, Yahweh, Sham Yahushai again. Right, we keen, we out on here on the highways and byways to do what to prophesy. We don't fall of America, the so-called white man and his evil system. Right, and don't fall of these other nations. Right, somebody give me a German 828 and they'll sit the system. Right, because these, these nations right about now they are at ease, right? And they they get rich up our back, right? When we come to come inside there don't fall. Right? Somebody get out. Right? Thank <laughs> you. 
you know, because the sun is this thing can ask me the mic, you understand? And these more bikes don't have phone for these places, so whatever the case is, and just get rid of a jerk of back, right? So Zechariah chapter 1 verse 14. So the angel that commanded with me, that communed with me, Salatia, said unto me, Cry thou, saying, Thus saith the Howard of hosts, I am jealous for Jerusalem and for Zion with a great jealousy. And I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease. Yes, you understand he jealous for, 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 uh, for Israel and for Zion, right? And he displeased that these nations that are at ease. For they're supposed to be our servants, but yet we are their servants. You understand? Or he's not supposed to be so. That was before that the most high set up. I swear. It says, for I was but a little displeased and they held forward the affliction. Yeah, they held forward the affliction, right? Before they looked for um. Instead of they had a confederacy to get what to basically help um, Israel out of this, somebody else, Psalm 83 verse 1, what they did, you understand? They, they looked to put us underneath um, their feet, right? But the most like when I'm saying all our curses upon their own head, according to Deuteronomy, um, is that 30, 32 verse 8, right? Anybody this is Psalms, this is Psalms 83 verse 1. Keep not thou silent, O poor. <coughs> Hold not thy peace and be not still, O power. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they, are, they that hate thee have lifted up their head. Right, and we're going to see who are those enemies, right? Because some people, these church rooms thinking, well, is a, um, a spiritual entity that we, we battle battling against, right? When the scriptures say what, um, somebody has come to us and fought this one. They have taken crafty counsels against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Yeah, that the name of Israel shall be no more in remembrance, right? Which our true Hebrew name was Yashrala. You understand? understand? But, for they have consulted them, consulted together with one consent, they are confederate against thee. Understand? Like in the UN, you understand when they had the meetings? Actually, they find ways to actually annihilate and have Israel. You understand? Go ahead. The tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites. The tabernacles of who? Edom. The tabernacles of who? Edom. Edom, which is the so called white man. That's right. right. So, you people who love the so called white man, Edom is the first man name on the list. You understand? The so called white man don't like you. All you other Israelite factions who, who are basically um, easing up on the so called white man. That is the first person on the list. Right, right. you see who saying we are to learn to love the so-called white man. He was the first man on the list. Right, he broke the brotherly covenant. Right, according to um, with, with, um Psalm 50, where he say um what what has the wicked to do with his law in his mouth? You understand? He thought that he um he was one with with them with the, the with the police. From the paraphrasing, go ahead. They have consulted together. Salata. Tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab. The Ishmaelites, the Chinese, go ahead. And the, the Agarines, go ahead. Jebal and Ammon and Amalek, the Philistines and the Amalek would be in the chief, the chief um, tribe in um, Edom. You understand? They were the first to smite Israel, but hey, he's like an enemy be that first forever. You understand? Go ahead. The Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyree, Asur. Also, he joined with them. Yeah, and I tell them to come to the full of fun. This is Amos chapter 1, verse 11. Go ahead. Thus saith Yahweh, for three transgressions of Edom, Go ahead. before I will not turn away the punishment thereof, yes. because he did pursue his brother with the sword. Yeah, he did pursue his brother with the sword. Now, what we, we went on in 1780? You understand? When they took down Israel, look, um, they still had the, the, the Ark of Titus over there. You understand? They still boasting about the, the taking down. Um, the Israelites, you understand, they had the menorah, they showed that they, um, you understand, they, they went out with the vessels, right? And you can see the brother, all, all, all now, they can see the brother, you saw the, the, the country in America, the mainland America, the capital of, of the north, you understand? Because they show that the police, the so-called white man, <coughs> scuffle a, um, a jake on the ground, and do what? The man is even have a weapon on your hand arm and put two bullets in it. You understand? And I believe that the so-called white man have to be Jake. 
And the gas of all pity and his anger did fear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. He kept his wrath forever. You understand? This is Numbers 24 and 20. Right. And when he looked on Amalek, he took up his parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he perish forever. Yeah, his latter end shall be that he perish forever. Right? And give me Exodus um, 17 verse. Exactly where you Yeah, Exodus 17 verse 14. Right. And, and the Lord Yahweh, this is Exodus chapter 17 verse 14. And the Lord Yahweh said unto Moses, Write this for a memorial in a book. And rehearse it in the ears of Joshua. Right. For I will utterly put out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. Yes. So that, that, is, a, that is a promise that the Most High gave right there to, to the chief tribe um, Edom. Right? That he going to utterly do what? Put, I will utterly put out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. Yes. So he going to totally destroy Amalek. Right? He went and totally destroyed Amalek. So if it is that he totally went and which, which um tribe he saw that went and be in the kingdom, most I went and destroy all of these nations. Well, mainly um he saw he went and utterly wipe out their name from under him. These other nations going back into slavery and back into the whole land and the tributary. You understand? Because since that we went on that they went and go on Amalek. Yeah. Since Isaiah 34 and 5, for my sword shall be bared in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumea and upon the people of my curse to judgment. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. They ain't say spiritual matter, it's filled with blood. You understand? So you go and come and do a sword destruction on human flesh. Somebody give me an idea for it. Well, it is made fat with the fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys and of rams. Yeah, and that sword is, is the. Um, the yeah, ICBMs, you understand, and the, um, the, the, the chariots will be coming with um, the, the laser beams, you understand, because when that come and they go the laser too, all flesh when I'm going to be to the ground, you understand, when I'm with away and die, right? For the Lord had a sacrifice in Bajra, which is the chief um, place in, in, in Edom, where, and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. Yes, it. For, for it is the day of the Lord's vengeance, and a year of recompense. And recompense for what controversy on Zion? Yes, we can just go to Zion. Hey, and we see that time coming very soon. You understand? Because the prophecies are being fulfilled. Right? Yeah, we are here. Somebody give me a message. It's just nine. Second, it's just nine goes four. Yeah, it could bring that and then it could bring um, he Psalms 124. Yeah. Psalms 124 verse 1. Yeah. Who does not bend your hour? Who was on our side? Now may Israel say, if it had not been your hour, who was on our side when men rose up against us? Yeah, when men rose up against us. You understand? So it's not showing that there's no spiritual Satan with no war in heaven. You understand? Like where they're showing um, in immortals and, and these kind of things. It's, it's um the war in heaven is when all the armies of earth, right, come in the um the, the warcraft, whatever the case is, and when the most high come on his chariot, you understand? When Yao Shai can so I don't come come on his chariot, right? And they're going to have that big because the permanence is a heaven. You understand? The, Scripture said there are three heavens, right? The permanent is the first heaven, the birds are heaven. You understand? And guess what? That is that war. When men rose up against us, who, who um, King David was trying against so many enemies? Was, was it the um, spiritual Satan? Well, this is Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 14. Behold, the heaven and the heaven of 